Good morning everybody, Sid from Hydro Exterior Cleaning and today we've got uh, old John on the go. Now check this out guys, obviously it's the first time using it so I've just set it up there and we've had a quick bash. Um, it's quite finicky to sort of get the level just right because if it's too low to the ground it just stops moving. If it's too high it doesn't take enough off so um, this is obviously just a quick, well I say quick, it's a huge area we've got to do here but only about half of it is actually mossy so it should be a few runs up and down with this machine and it should fetch up 99% of the moss. I mean, as you can see where we've been, there is a little bit left over, but it's nothing crazy. So I'm probably gonna to suggest to the customer, I'll say that I'll come back um, and we'll do a biocide treatment on all of this. Um, just to, I mean, you're never gonna keep it at bay, look at all these trees here. So, I mean, it, this might just be like a six monthly thing or three monthly thing to do all this. We'll see, but look how bad this is, guys. Storms have uh, made a lot of the tree stuff fall down. And we've got, oh, I cannot wait, this is like, standing on sponge it's crazy so very exciting clean um, I'm sure you guys probably saw this in one of my previous videos I said I hope to come back and do this at some point so here we are we did it before I begin um, I'll show you how cool this machine is it is honestly it's really bloody cool um, it took a while I was like oh no it's not fetching off as much as I thought but then we lowered it just to the right amount it took about half an hour to get it to the perfect level but it's looking good so look at all this look at that that's tough stuff, man. You can barely peel it off. <laughs> okay, folks, me again. Um, yeah, I realised on later inspection on this job that there's some things that I probably should have done differently. So as you can see here, I'm struggling at the start. I got the hang of it towards the middle of the day, but the start I was struggling. Um, it was on quite an incline, this uh, car park was. I know it's hard to tell. Um, so the brush kept catching, and then sometimes it was skipping over it instead of actually like taking the moss off. Um, it was really quite frustrating me at the start, and I was thinking, am I doing something wrong? Am I using the machine wrong? Is it rubbish? What's going on? Um, and also the moss was super wet which is something that I didn't foresee. Of course, it would make it more stickier and harder to remove from the, uh, the porous nature of tarmac. So uh, there's a lot of things I would do differently next time. If anyone is thinking of getting a machine like this, don't get me wrong, it's very, very good, as I did realize later on. Um, but it's ideal to pre-treat the surface first. So you kind of want to kill all the moss off first, wait a week, and then, uh, yeah, a week later, go and use the Westerman on it. Also, it does perform better on a flat surface, obviously. Um, and when it's not soaking wet as well. So there's a few things. I'll skip through all this starting part because I was really struggling. But uh, yeah, towards the middle of the video, well, just after these parts, I start to get the hang of it and it is a lot easier. So yeah, nice one guys, enjoy.
All right then folks, the main areas now, uh, it's all been wire brushed. Let me just give you an idea of how much moss is actually on here. Look at that. How crazy is that? So this is what was in all of those little gaps. So, I mean, to be fair to the brush, it's done an amazing job really, hasn't it? Um, it's obviously will look a lot better once we've cleared all of this. Um, but this is all still super wet. I mean, look at, look at all this stuff, man. It's so heavy, loads of it. It's starting to dry out a little bit over here, um, but we just need to sweep it all up now. But obviously some still remains, I mean, because it's quite porous stuff. So I think the strategy is, it's, I like going over with that, and then you put some chemical down on it, um, some weed killer or some biocide, and it's gonna be amazing. Um, similar to scraping roofs, I'll, I'll probably liken this to. Um, you get the bulk off and the chemical does the rest, so. Yeah, it's starting to dry out a little bit over here, so. Look at all this. It's like, you can make like moss balls out of it. Right then folks, well would you look at that. Um, just in the, like, I went a bit, we went a bit above and beyond it to be honest with you. Um, it was meant to be just taking that surface layer of moss off. Uh, but yeah, I've ended up just pressure washing it and doing all that. So we've just got this all here just to rinse down. Um, it's surprising even with that, um, as you can see, we've already rinsed all that, completely different color to this. Um, even with taking off so much of the moss with that Westerman, Going over at the flat surface, the amount of mud still left in there is crazy. Um, but as I say, I sort of was looking at it and I was like, I don't really want to leave the job like that because close up it looked great, but then you look at it from a distance and it's just like an underlying tone of green still left on it. And it's like, I don't know, it just didn't sit right with me leaving it um, like that. Again, because it was on a slant, I just don't think it, it, it was at its full potential today. Um, because some areas it was like where it started to level out a bit, it was like blitzing everything. So. I mean, you can see there's like nothing left in it. Obviously, I've got to rinse this. It's just dirt and mud left on this. But, you know, there's nothing left on top of it now, especially after giving it a once over with the uh, pressure washer. It's streaky there, but sort that out. But, um, yeah, just all this mud to sort of rinse down now and get sorted. So we've got one, two, three, four, five bays left to do. It's been probably about four hours here, longer than we should have, but it's okay. I didn't have anything else booked in today anyway, so... Right, that'll be about it. Um, it's pointless me showing you rinsing that off because it barely does a colour difference. So I'll wrap that up here. Um, I'll try and get a final shot for you as well. Um, but yeah, that's about that. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure. Oh, more streaks. I hate tarmac. I need to get them off as well.